Hello, this is Swati Mali and this is a video about properties of task environment in which an intelligent agent is supposed to work. After going through this video, it is expected that given a task environment, students will be able to identify all the properties a task environment has. The properties are typically based on information available in a percept, effect of action on the environment, effect of one action on choice of next action, if the environment changes irrespective of the agent, the number of actions and states possible in any environment and finally number of agents possibly present in an environment. So to start with fully observable versus partially observable is the first property. Fully observable environment is defined as if an agent sensors give it access to the complete state of the environment at each point in time then it could be defined as fully observable otherwise it will be partially observable environment. For example, in tic-tac-toe or chess game, <coughs> the agent may read the board through sensors. All the sensors informations combined together will be one percept. This one percept will be enough to understand the state of environment and agent will be able to decide over action. So it's a fully observable one. While as in taxi driving agents example, one percept will not be enough to determine speed of the approaching vehicle or to figure out if the car in front is braking or not and hence it will be called partially observable environment. The second type is deterministic versus stochastic that is the next state of the environment is completely determined by the current state and the action executed by the agent then it will be deterministic otherwise it will be stochastic. To give an example in tic-tac-toe or chess, one knows outcome or outcomes or we can call after effects of every action chosen while in taxi driving, effect of action cannot be determined before 100% because of the external factors and their actions on the environment. So this will be, uh, taxi driving will be non-deterministic while as tic-tac-toe and chess could be deterministic environments. The third environment type is episodic versus sequential. It is defined as the agent's experience if it can be divided into atomic episodes that is each episode consists of agent perceiving and then performing a single action and then choice of action in each episode depends only on the episode itself then it will be episodic otherwise it will be sequential. To give an example the agent can act as perceive act sequences in case of two tile vacuum cleaner agent but it cannot be there in tic-tac-toe or chase or dri taxi driving as effect of one action may dictate choice of next actions to be chosen. So two tile vacuum cleaner is episodic while as tic-tac-toe chase taxi driving wherever they are supposed to act and achieve any goal will be sequential one. Next is static versus dynamic. If the environment is unchanged while an agent is deliberating actions on environment then it is called a static environment otherwise it will be dynamic. To give an example in tic-tac-toe or game of chess the environment remains unchanged while agent is performing actions while in taxi driving example the environment keeps on flowing and changing irrespective of agent's action. So tic-tac-toe and chess are static environments while as taxi driving is a dynamic one. Also there is third category which is called semi-dynamic wherein agent's performance also depends on time lapsed. It will be semi-dynamic. The examples of semi-dynamic environments could be tic-tac-toe or solitaire games in which the environment remains static but the performance will be degraded once the agent takes more time to complete the actions and achieve the goal. The next type is discrete versus continuous. If the environment has a limited number of distinct clearly defined percept and actions it will be discrete environment otherwise it will be continuous. To give an example again tic-tac-toe or game of chase has got limited number of unique percepts and actions. The number of the states and actions may be high in number but they are finite so these fall in the category of discrete environments. On the contrary Taxi driver agent experiences infinite number of unique percepts even if it is the same road because of the other factors on the road, it's continuous environment. Finally, single agent versus multi-agent. It is defined as 
If an agent is operating by itself in an environment, it will be single agent. Otherwise, it will be multi-agent environment. So, <clears throat> to give an example, two-player games are multi-agent. Even taxi driver environment contains multiple other driving agents. So, that will be multi-agent environment. The difference between these two is the game is competitive multi-agent environment while driving a vehicle on the road is cooperative environment wherein everybody is trying to have a legal and safe journey. Vacuum cleaner agent could be an example of the single agent environment. Thank you.